Dude, what the fuck is going on with Avis stock right now? Okay, symbol C A R car. How what eight what like eighteen percent in a month? Or excuse me, eighteen percent in a week. Okay, hundred percent in three months. Dude, the last article about Avis was three days ago, and uh, and in regards to. Avis's stock doubles and is over all analysts' price expectations. The, the largest analyst thing is $120, okay? What, what the fuck is going on here? This is just fucking mind-boggling. And then you have Tesla endlessly going up. You're not going to get the fucking power plant in Germany. Mark my words. You're, it's not going to happen. Why the fuck would Germany, who is having a severe energy crisis right now, open a fucking factory? That doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't make sense. They're trying to survive. They're not trying to grow and make money. They're trying to fucking survive. And these delusional Tesla bulls are just buy, 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 buy. This is a fundamental thing. First of all, the valuations. Dude, how the fuck is Elon Musk not a fucking in prison? He commits security fraud on a daily basis with his fucking tweets. Every day, he commits security fraud. Manipulating fucking stocks and cryptocurrencies. With Shiba and with Dogecoin and with Bitcoin. He directly manipulates it. Why the fuck is he able to have a Twitter? That doesn't make sense. He should not be allowed to tweet because he clearly manipulates assets. What the fuck is wrong with you people? He's fucking with people's money. I lost a shitload of money with Dogecoin because he's, that's my own fault. But he pumps this fucking shit up. Now, now, now you see why I'm short Tesla because I'm, 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 uh, against Elon Musk because of his illegal, uh, pump of Dogecoin and then the whole Saturday Night Live thing. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was, uh, that was a stupid fucking choice. <sighs> it's just mind boggling. The, the, I get pissed off when I see manipulation and greed. And then it fucks my money up. It fucks my money up. I'm down big on Avis and Tesla. Shorting indexes. I, I'm long SQQQ. Okay, that's up almost 3 or 4%. 3 or 4%, okay. Selling calls and SPY. Closing the positions. Flipping them like fucking hamburgers for profits. And then I have my short trades on Avis, which is up fucking 20% in a week off no articles or no news or no nothing, just psh, fugazi, fairy dust doesn't exist. It ceases to exist. It's just psh, fugazi, fugazi, whatever it is, you know, and you're dealing with uh, circuit breakers. You got tch, 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 tch. So that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with manipulation. We're dealing with a crooked securities fraud convicted motherfucker in Elon Musk. And we're dealing with um, institutions pumping up, illegally pumping up Avis to unheard of heights for equities. This isn't a fucking meme stock. There are no retail investors for Avis's stock. It's institutionally bought 100% in three fucking months. Where's the SEC? Where the fuck are you? Clearly, you don't give a fuck about retail investors because this is just mind-boggling manipulation. It's going to dump Friday. I'm holding my shorts because it's I'm confident that Avis is going to dump Friday of Monday when options expire October 15th. That's the whole fucking point. They're going to let put options expire worthless and then dump the stock so the calls expire worthless and they pocket the fucking premium.
I increased my short position in Tesla and Avis. So go fuck yourself, Elon, and go fuck yourself, institutions that are manipulating Avis's stock. Goodbye.